Let's go to the Nova Semla Ice Bar and show me a blue ticket, please. And no drinks beyond this point. Here we go. Yes, past the Caribbean. And it's off. <laughs> I have extra cold Heineken beer and five different kinds of shots inside. I have vodka cream that stays like vanilla, vodka nuts and nougat that stays like the dark chocolate, yum yum, my favorite, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. vodka coconuts, vodka whites, that's a pure unflavored vodka straight up, and subuka. Oh yeah, for the non-drinkers, orange juice. And orange juice only. <laughs> and you But, no mixes. No cocktails inside the ice bar. We do make them over there, we do not over there. Why not, you wonder? Not possible due to the extreme Arctic temperatures inside the ice bar. But don't worry, you can leave whenever you like. Yeah. But when you do, please close the door behind you. Otherwise, it's gonna be a swimming pool wherever I'm it. Put your daily gloves over there, please. So the daily gloves here sign up. Please put your jackets back on the hooks over there. All clear? All good? I hope you're ready. Enjoy. There we go. It's cold, but I can do it with it. Oh, nice, you bitch. It's pretty fun in here. I thought it was going to be bigger, but. Oh, shit, music. Pretty cool film. So, the ice bar has probably been one of the funnest things I've done. And the bar staff, like, this girl is so sweet. She gave me this for free when she stood the bar. Oh, should I say that? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Anyway, so um, yeah, I just had a really good time. Um, the drinks have been like really tasty. Um, in the bar, they've done these. Um, you can get these basically when you pay for your ticket to come in, give you free free drinks. So I had them. This is my fourth one, bless her. So I'm not naming names, so I suppose you're fine. Yeah. So um, I'm worried now. <laughs> I'm gonna get her in trouble, but I don't know if I will. It isn't sex on the beach, my favorite thing to do. But anyway, um, if you guys plan to come to Amsterdam, definitely come to the ice bar, it's like really fun. And it's actually, it's worth the money. It's like 26 euros, and you get free, free drinks of that, and you get to go into the ice bar and everything, that's actually really good. Considering some like cocktails in Amsterdam are like 26 pounds just for a cocktail, so yeah. So a um, little update, I tried to go to the Anne Frank Museum, couldn't get in, you can only um, have online tickets to get in, which is silly. And I went to go to the Van Gogh um, Museum and it was like showing in like 15 minutes. So I was like whatever, you know basically if I got up early I would be able to make it, but I'm not really that bothered, I'm just going to see a few paintings, like, you know, whatever. I might try and do it tomorrow because um, I'm leaving tomorrow but I don't leave until like 9 at night. And I get kicked out of my hotel around midday, but they don't come at midday, they come about one in the afternoon. So I'm gonna wake up at half 11, and if they turn up at midday, I'll be like, can you give me half now? I'll follow them, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, so then what I'll do, I'm gonna get on the uh, um, train again to Central Amsterdam, and then I might try and do the Van Gogh Museum and stuff. So yeah, I've got time, it's fine. Aww. i got a few photos of the ice bar, which is cute. And they were ch they're charging like, you, you get like one, well, one or two personal photos of yourself, and they charge like eight. Your rose. And I was like, I got some couple just to take photos of me in the ice bar for free. So <laughs> I'm not gonna pay eight euros for a picture I can get for free. Less than more. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. I need to go for like a wonder again.
currently getting the train back. Yeah, I'm a little bit late right now. That's okay. <laughs> Hams in Amsterdam, stays in Amsterdam. So um, yeah, I'm just getting the train back to the hotel. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I might go to the sky bar and have more drinks. I've got quite a bit of money left on me to spend, so I might go and do that. And then there's these guys I've been talking to on Grindr, want to meet up maybe. Um, as we might go on some adventures together, so I don't really know. So I'm back from my day out around Amsterdam. Today I'm just basically lit as fuck. <laughs> so um, yeah, I figured out, it's, oh god, it's so strange. Well, not strange, well, like, it's new to me, isn't it? So um, like you, the coffee shops in Amsterdam, you basically just buy weed from. I don't know if YouTube's gonna, you know, demonetize and copyright my channel and, and the world, but that is what happens. So, and I managed to find one, um, and yeah, it was like only six euros for a roll up. So I got two, because I was like, that's a good deal. Like, the drinks are like, you know, t the cheapest double I found was eight euros. To be fair, it's literally like being in Brighton or London. To be quite honest with you, the prices here are literally no different. Uh, but I've been treating myself to cocktails. I don't want to keep my eyes, sorry. Oh, I've just been having cocktails after cocktails. So, um, yeah, I say loads. I mean, I don't know, probably had about four or five. Um, and one I didn't even have to pay for, the girl just gave me one. I was like, okay. <laughs> Why not? Thanks, baby. Five star rating for me. We went into the gate area again. Okay, I can't pronounce any of the names. Um, but I, I was kind of looking for a club. And I couldn't really find anything that was clubby, it was just bars. So maybe that's just it, it's just full of bars, there's not any clubs there. Um, Cause the guy on Grana said that it's like the clubbing, main clubbing bar area, but I couldn't find a club. Um, that's when I found this um, smoking place, like coffee shop, and you walk in, they're just literally sending you lists of weed and like, what do you get? Uh, and I actually, it's, it makes more sense. Cause you know, it's like blunt split, blah, in the UK at least. It was just like pure weed or mixed weed and I was like, can we just use that? <laughs> it makes so much more sense. Hey guys, this is my last day here in Amsterdam. Um, I'm go currently going to the Van Gogh Museum. Um, apparently you can buy tickets on the door. So I have no idea how expensive it is. I only got like 50 euros left. So um, we'll just see if I can get in or not. And if not, I'll just have a wander around before I go back to the airport. For the lieve bezoekers aan Amsterdam, we ligt aan het Rijksmuseum, die nog een bezoek gaan brengen aan de tentoonstelling. You know, as predicted, can't get in, all fell down. Um, yeah, I was like, even from person, does not look busy in there at all, but anyway, whatever. So um, everyone's also just buys tickets online and that's it. So anyway, as I was walking to find the museum, I walked past this place that had Banksy on it. So I might just go there and see if I can get in there instead, because it's like a Banksy art museum. So I thought I might just do that instead. Here's Van Gogh, who needs them? Look, this is inside the Van Gogh Museum. Pretty sure you could fit my little queer ass in there, but never mind, never mind. Am I salty? Yes. So this is the Banksy Museum I found. Or like art gallery, I don't know. This looks cuter, to be honest. I mean, like what? <laughs> Obviously not a real balloon. What is it? This is just art gallery madness, who knows? So yeah, there's a few exhibitions on here, it seems. Actually, it doesn't really seem like that much of a cue, so I'm gonna try and get in so it happens. Yes, yeah, so I'm just queuing up to get in. It's like a 50 to half an hour minute wait, which is fine, because um, it's like about two o'clock now. I'm not gonna go to the airport at like about five or half five. My flight's at like five past nine, so I'm not like rushing basically. So I thought I might as well um, do this, because I feel like I've actually done something today. So Van Gogh Museum was a bust, that's fine. Webs. So anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to film in there, but um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take a few clips of some of the art pieces. I think I'll do that. Mm. No, I've got this lyric stuck in my head the whole day, <laughs> which is that sweetie song, Bestie. My bestie on it, Tessie. Fresh blowout. I don't know why there's love hearts everywhere. I don't know if you can see. So there is like some a love theme or something. I don't know. But I just realised it's not called the Banks Museum. It's called the Moko Museum. I think Banks is just doing an exhibition. 
tickets yet, I don't really know, but I think the whole thing's like Banksy themed. And also I've realised everyone who's brought tickets online is just walking ahead, up the stairs, and everyone who yeah. needs to buy a ticket is waiting in line. So I have a feeling, and there's a queue outside, we're going to be here fucking forever. See my lip gloss? Yeah, um, who knows, like I said, I'm going to wait until, I guess I could wait until four, but that's two hours, it's going to be after that. So yeah, we'll see, hopefully I'll get in. I literally want these to sit on. They're so cute. <laughs>
So I'm at the airport now, I'm leaving Amsterdam, it's been great! Um, and I've, I've got like an uh, ice latte to try it out. Uh, never again. <laughs> it's literally just an ice latte, I thought there was some like high fat, and also it looks kind of gross. I think this is why people get loads of like vanilla and shit pumped into it, to make it taste nice. So um, anyway, noted, I thought I'd try it anyway, but in the future, I'm not getting an iced latte. We're gonna drink it because I've paid for it, but, but. So um, bad news is my flight was supposed to leave at 9.25, been delayed to half fucking 11. So I'm quite pissed off about that, but whatever. Um, so, I mean, it's just easy jet for you. They're obviously a nightmare on the bank holidays, so I'm never gonna fly again on the bank holiday, I don't think. So whatever, and my phone's low on battery, I can't charge anywhere, so that'll be dead for the uh, flight, but whatever. Nothing I can do about it. So um, I do know that I'll be fine getting the train from Galwick to Brighton, I think. I think there's a, um, a train like two, so there's gonna be a late one now, all because he's just fucked up again. But whatever. So um, I've got my train ticket though, I've got return, so I'll be fine getting back. But yeah, I'm just like tired as hell now, so I thought I'll get another coffee to wake up. My second one today, which means I probably won't sleep. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, it's been fun, but um, I really can't be asked to fucking wait for a million years, but whatever, whatever. To be fair, I might just buy an adapter. I'm pretty sure they'll sell them in here somewhere. In, in this cafe here, I can charge my phone, so I'll just, I might just do that. I don't think I can wait around without any music or without my phone to piss about on, to be honest. Oh well, nothing I can do. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back to Brighton now, to be quite honest with you. Um, I really did like the Netherlands. Um, I actually, so I think I briefly spoke about um, gay cruising yesterday in my vlog. I, I, don't, I have no idea how my vlog's gonna um, plan out. So I think I'm definitely gonna have two vlogs. I don't know if I'm gonna have three as well. I don't know. So this Amsterdam series goes, guys. Oh my God, YouTuber, look at me. So, um, yeah, so we'll see, we'll see, I'm not really sure. But, um, so last night actually was quite cute. I kind of got to see the um, non-touristy Amsterdam. So this girl that's talking to in Grindr, well, what I will say, some of the Dutch come off across like really rude. And then the complete flip side is some of them are like really friendly. Um, and a few of them are like, um, and it's weird, it's the, it's some of the gay guys I was just talking to, I bumped into our mail, it seemed like really friendly. Um, Maybe someone to shag me, I don't know. And <laughs> I don't know. But um, there's guys that, honestly, if I didn't have Grindr, I'd have been screwed, I think. Because literally, um, there's two guys who I started to speak to on Grindr, and they were like so friendly. They told me where everything was, what buses to get, what trains to get to from my hotel. Um, I met one of them yesterday. We didn't sleep together or anything. He kind of just showed me around some of the cruising spots and stuff. I was like, why not while I'm here? Um, so we had like, a walk around basically this park where guys were shagging, so it wasn't really that exciting. Um, there were wilder guys there, so I was like, nope, I just wanted to kind of go and see it. <laughs> a bit more of like the real, you know, down and under Amsterdam. But it was just fun because he literally drove me from a hotel. We got on really well, we were talking stuff, and then he drove me back to my hotel and we called it a night. So it's morning though, I mean, I woke up about half 11, which if you know is early for me. And um, they, the cleaners, because every day they've come at like one to try and break into my room, but luckily I've locked it because they're just fucking walking. That was the only downside about the hotel, I was like, why are you trying to walk into my room for? Like, if I don't have the sign on my door that says clean it, leave it alone. But anyway, um, so yeah, and actually they knocked on my door like quarter past 12, but I was fine. I was up and when, when I need to, I will move and I'll be ready at a certain time if I need to. Um, but usually I'll take the piss for as long as I can. So, um, and I had a feeling they'll turn up at one to be fair. So, but I made sure I was kind of pretty much ready at midday in case they did come. So, and they came about quarter past 12, which is fine, I just left. So um, yeah, so that's gonna be the day really. And then I ran Amsterdam. Um, you, you'd have seen probably from the vlog that I saw, I went to, tried to go into Van Gogh, didn't happen. Went to this other museum that I think was actually more my taste anyway. Um, had a lot of Banksy, I worked on, I love Banksy, so perfect. Um, and yeah, um, and then I pretty much 
I went to go and have some lunch. I've st nothing that annoys me is I took all this all this money out and turned it converted into euros. I could have probably been fine on just contactless card payments. To be quite honest with you, I don't think I actually needed any money. So um, and that's obviously. I guess it just shows the last time I went on holiday, um, which was like 2019. It just shows how um, contactless society is now in general. I mean, I do know Netherlands is quite a forward country anyway. Um, and also I've, got, I've been educated now. It's um, Dutch, not no, Norwegian, or whatever I was saying about accents. And then I was saying Norway, which was wrong, it's Netherlands. <laughs> I don't know why I've gone on holiday. So I found this cute little area in the hotel that actually you can charge your phone up. Did I just say hotel, airports? I'm going mad, I swear. <laughs> So um, literally this airport has everything you can think of. It has a library, it has these um, chairs, which I might have to film, they're just so funny. They're like, I don't know if they're like massage chairs. You've got people just sitting there, uh, uh, monging out, love it. Yeah, it's very chilled. Um, I feel like that, that's the whole vibe of um, Sam that I've gone and probably just in the Netherlands. They're very like progressive, everything's clean. Um, literally have everything you can think of. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's really nice here, I have to be honest. Um, I mean, there's no charging stations in the UK. <laughs> I mean, there probably is actually. I don't know why I said that for, probably is. Um, I'm sure there must be some place you can just plug in your phone for USB and like at work. But I don't know, I haven't seen one. But they have one here. <laughs> they have one here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't need to buy an adapter. Um, it's fine, I'm just gonna sit here. And also my um, flight has now um, been delayed to 10th phase, 11th phase, and then I remembered when I was coming here from um, Gatwick, it was delayed. And then next minute, um, I waited until the time it said, but it clearly, um, the gate had been announced before that. So I'm keeping my eye basically on the times of my um, flight because it, they, they'll probably change it and it'll end up being a lot earlier than what it is. I think half 11 is like the worst case scenario. So I'm just gonna go at the, um, the original time of like, I think it's 8.25 or 8.55, one of those. So I'm gonna walk over around there and look at the um, times of my flight and see if it's, you know, cause it might be it's going ahead now at a normal time, I don't know. So um, yeah, but if not, I'm, I can chill here and be on my phone for as long as I want cause I've got this charging thing, so perf. But um, no, it was really good. I was really happy with the hotel. I got a really good view as well. Um, it was a good trip, I enjoyed it and I think um, there's a few little moments where I was like, oh, it would be nice to have some company but then I was like, no, <laughs> no. Like, in the moments where I was like tired and moody, it was good to just be by myself. I knew what was going to make me happy, I knew what I needed to do, I knew what I was going to go. You know, I was in charge of the whole trip and I really enjoyed that. I could sleep, I could do whatever I wanted, nobody to answer to. Travelling by yourself is underrated guys, like you definitely should just go and do it. Are you waiting around for? Jump on a plane and go somewhere if you can. You don't need to wait for your friends or a partner or whatever. You just do what you want. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do it again. Like I think I've already mentioned this, but I kind of want to go to Berlin. I do want to go to San Francisco and um, California in general, but that's going to be like a big trip. Um, I might have to save up some proper money for that. It's not just going to be like a four day weekend trip. Um, so I'll probably, mm, I mean, I, it could, I could spend like maybe a week. Um, so I want to go and see LA, but I mean, um, I have a feeling you can get like a coach from San Francisco to LA and back. That could be like a day or a two day thing. I don't know, but it might be, I might want to go and stay in LA for a few days, like actually stay in a hotel, I don't know. So I just want to go and, go, go and see it really. I mean, my parents have been to LA before and they said that, you know, like what everyone has said to me is gone. It's like you have the really poor and the really rich. But, but I thought, you know, life of a YouTuber, it might be fun for me to go there and see. And if I really like it, I might move there. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I have a feeling I wouldn't know, especially not now. That's kind of what's putting me off America at the moment is all the guns and stuff. So when they sort all that shit out, which could be never. So, you know, might just go and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a child at school, so, you know. Mm. I'm trying to figure out else I want to go. I want to go to Italy, but that's kind of a, I, I feel like it is a big place, but like if you just go like Venice, probably like Amsterdam, you could probably just go for like a long weekend. 
Um, it's only because I, when I was, was younger, I used to play Assassin's Creed and I was obsessed with Assassin's Creed 2, I remember. I remember the um, levels had like Florence, Venice, some other place, and I was like, I just want to go to where, where the Assassin's Creed places were. <laughs> Sounds really sad. But, um, but yeah, so anyway, guys, I'm just ranting now, but that's the kind of update, that's the tea, that's the gag. Tea, guy, tea, guy, guy, guy. I was gonna chill here and charge my phone, guys. So anyway, I'll um, probably keep touching in now and then when I get bored. Last that queer in the pink neon t-shirt. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Hey guys, so I realised I didn't film an outro for this vlog. Um, I literally kind of just got lost in the filming and travelling and stuff like that. So I just, I guess I didn't really think about. So um, anyway, so I'm making this to end the vlog. Sorry, you kind of got a random towel to hang there, but whatever. Welcome to my life. Um, so yeah, so I really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the travel vlogging. Um, if you guys want to see more of it from me, let me know. Obviously, I got back fine from the flight. Um, uh, to be fair, it all runs smooth. Well, actually, it didn't run, run smoothly at all. So the flight on the way back, as you guys probably saw, um, got delayed. Um, and then it was like some fuel situation going on. So I had to touch the fuel tank, which took like another hour. And then when we landed in the UK, um, they didn't have enough stuff to put the stairs, you know, attach the stairs to the plane. So that took like another half an hour. So basically I didn't get back until like about one or two in the morning when I should have got back to the UK at like, I don't know, 11, 10, stuff like that. So yeah, it was a bit of a mess. So um, I'm gonna plan to go away again. Um, Berlin somewhere I'm thinking of, but also I want to go and see other places like Italy, all this kind of stuff. So um, I'm gonna go and look around some good deals, but I'm gonna wait for EasyJet to essentially sort their shite out, because I can't be asked of them being understaffed and all this mess going on at the moment. So maybe it'll be next year, I'm not sure, but it might be sooner, who knows, stay tuned. So yeah, guys. So let me down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the vlogging. Do, do you guys want me to keep doing um, travel vlogs and stuff on the next go away again? Should I, should I vlog it? Should I vlog it? Let me know down below. So without further ado, like and subscribe to my channel for more of me and you want to be B. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I pop into a new video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.